What is up guys, it's Troy at the Full Setup back with another review for you. Now, about a week ago, NVIDIA released a piece of software called RTX Voice, which basically uses AI to take out background noise from your microphones that you're gonna be used for gaming, podcast recording, even doing like web chats, so using stuff like Zoom, although I don't recommend Zoom at the moment, um, GoToMe in Skype, all of those sort of things it's gonna help you get much better audio. Now it is in beta at the moment, they were gonna release it at a later date, but because of the sort of current global situation is why it has come out earlier. But there is a bit of a performance hit. I was expecting there to be sort of no performance hit because I've got an RTX card. Um, I expected it to maybe be flexing all of the tensor cores, which I never use because I don't play ray tracing games because it tanks my performance. Um, now you can get it working on GTX cards. I haven't tested it myself. Um, and that does give a bit of a bigger performance hit as well. Um, I've seen that in a few videos of the performance hit. But what I wanted to do today was just sort of test it out a little bit because I haven't got my main microphone that I use here, which is normally the Rode Procaster, which is what I use for voiceovers. Um, and that has an extremely low noise floor. Like I probably wouldn't use RTX voice with it because there is such a minute amount that you have to take out. But um, here I've got the Blue Snowball, which is a microphone I bought years ago, used for about a month and then went back in the box since. You know, I'm not massively impressed with the Snowball, but I know a lot of people have got it. So I wanted to see, you know, what could we do to make the Snowball sound better? Will RTX voice help? Because one thing as well is at the moment, I'm, like I said, I'm not in my main setup. There's a busy road there. Um, the kid's bedroom is just over there. My girlfriend's kid's bedroom. There's a seven-year-old in there playing Xbox at the moment. He's playing at Roblox, so it's pretty chill. But if he puts Fortnite on, there could be a meltdown. So there is a lot of background sounds that are coming out. Right, now, first thing we need to do is just show you how the Blue Snowball sounds. So I'm going to talk directly into it. So this is the Blue Snowball microphone with nothing being added to it. I may add some more gain or lower some more gain in, in post, and I'll put a little sort of what I'm doing down here, um, a little title for that. The input gain is currently set to 90%. I've actually got this nice um, little sort of stand with it, um, pop filter, and then this other pop filter that I've put on because it, it was popping a little bit too much. This whole set was like 15 quid from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I fully recommend that. Now, as you can see here, we've got RTX Voice open. So we are currently running RTX Voice. You can select your microphone here. And we will turn on the effect in a second. I've also got banana meter, uh, voice meter banana on, which we'll talk about just, just very briefly in a second. Um, and I've got task manager open. And the reason I've got task manager open is so we can have a look at, you know, how much of the, the memory it's using. Because I've only got an RTX 2060 here. Um, now you can see it's currently using 0 0.9 gigabytes of my memory. Now, before I started screen recording, because I'm using the video shadow play to capture this, it was sat around 0 0.7 as well. So maybe take a couple of hundred megabytes off of what you're going to see today. Um, but we just need to do a couple of tests. So the first one is we're going to do like a, this is a knock to my right, a knock to my left. This is me now bashing away on red switches. And because I don't know what I was doing on the other computer, we'll just bash the space bar. And that is just the space bar. We'll now do complete silence. And now all I'm gonna do is open the window behind me because we're on a busy road. I know. What do you think? RGB chair? Too much? Too little? Not enough? Not enough? It's pretty sick, isn't it? Review coming down that later on in May. So what we need to do now is turn on RTX voice. Um, so this is going to hopefully, you know, remove a lot of that background sound. Um, so we'll just turn it on here. Now there is also output device and I'll talk about that in a second, but that's obviously going to use even more of your VRAM. So let's turn so now we have RTX voice turned on. Um, like I said before, we are set at 90% input gain on the blue snowball microphone. I'm running at the cardioid setting. So this would be exactly the same as what you'd have on a snowball ice as well. Um, we're going to start off with the little typing test. I missed my old setup. Like it was really crammed, but I am missing my old setup. Right. 
typing, typing. So we're just hitting away on the nice quiet reds. So that's just the reds being hit. And then there's me talking whilst doing the reds. Because one thing you'll notice is you'll sort of hear like little bangs and dings a bit more. If you're not talking, when you are talking, it actually seems to cut it out a bit more. So that's the blue. That's me just bashing the blue. Knock to my right. Knock to my right whilst talking. That was a knock to my left and a knock to the left whilst talking. I will just do complete silence. And now we've just opened the window. So there are some birds there at the moment I can hear. There hasn't been a cargo pass, which I sort of wanted. Wanted the sort of room of a cargo and pass. That was me making that sound. But yeah, super impressive. It. Oh. That was a cargo and pass then. Um, so that's something you would hear quite a lot. Um, or maybe I can bring some sound in from this because this, this little is a little omnidirectional condenser. So that picks up loads of stuff. Right. So the next thing I want to talk about is how I can try and improve this audio even further. So what do we want to do? We want to go to voice meter VB, uh, VBB orgs. There we go. Right, so I've turned RTX voice off and now what I'm doing is basically putting everything through voice meter banana. So if you have a look up here on the input device, that is set to my aux because that is this channel here. There's loads of good videos about this software. I definitely would recommend, you know, watching it. Um, so I'm just going to sort of talk directly into the microphone and talk about how I got it set up. So you can see I've sort of got the low, bringing a bit more bass into this microphone because it's a very tinny microphone. That's one thing. I've always thought about it. I've turned the gain down just a touch as well. Now, this input here is actually Discord. I mean, I think if I configure it right by then using the, the right one on here, I need to do a test. I want to get some people on Discord later so I can do a test. I could then actually put the noise, the noise suppression on that and actually have their background noise suppressed as well. Um, and then the main sort of system audio comes in here. So it's, it's just like channels and routing. I, it's, I'm not really explaining it too well, but another good thing as well is that I can have EQ directly on the microphone. So here is my EQ settings. Um, so that's with RTX voice off. Um, we sort of, I've got the window open as well at the moment. So I'm just going to close the window, um, put RTX voice on, and we'll just, we'll just sort of see how it sounds. So I will have to admit this room is a bit echoey. Um, there's not loads of stuff in here. I'm obviously slowly filling it up because people keep sending stuff like this RGB chair. Um, Shout out to Genesis Gaming for the RGB chair, loving it. Um, but yeah, it's there is a bit of echo in the room, but I, I feel there is a huge improvement over this. I've just realized I haven't got the EQ on. Um, we've got RTX voice turned on, but we haven't got the EQ on. So this is what it should sound like with the EQ on as well. I've tested it doing it a few other ways. So I've tested it with RTX voice coming in here instead of the blue snowball and then just passing straight through. And I've set it like this and I can't really notice a difference. Um, one thing we didn't have a look at is the, the memory usage. Like I said, that's at 1.5 gigabytes usage at the moment. So that's using like 25% of my available VRAM. That is because I'm screen recording and I'm using RTX voice. So if you were going to use that, if you're going to use RTX voice, plus you were going to use your graphics card to stream, there is going to be a nice performance hit. They're showing 10% performance hit just using RTX voice anyway. Um, and I feel that if you were doing... Um, gaming, game streaming as well, then you're probably going to get close to 15%. That being said, for me, I'm generally going to be doing a stream at 1080p anyway. So the 2060 has got more than enough of the games that I would want to stream, which would be first person shooters. And I'd be more than happy to drop a couple of settings to make up that difference. Um, do you know what I mean? Because what, what are most people watching it on at home on like a 60 hertz panel? So it's you stream is probably going to be in 60 hertz anyway so it wouldn't it wouldn't be the huge thing for me and i really do like this for me it's something that i'm always going to have on it's something that i'm going to have to make sure that i have turned off for benchmarks i'm going to have to make sure i turn it off at the end of it 
Um, but all in all, I'm I'm super happy with RTX Voice, and I'm much happier with the way that the Blue Snowball is sounding now. So just just a quick demo, really. I just wanted to show you it all. I think actually, if we turn this one now, so see it shoots up to 1.6. But I reckon if we had some audio coming through that, it would it would be going up even higher as well. But um, yeah. That's RTX Voice. Test it out. Let me know what you think about it. Have a look at Voice Meter Banana. I will post a link to the person because I can't remember who it was. I watched two very good videos on Voice Meter Banana. So I will post a link to his channel so you can check him out as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. If you like it, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. I'll be back with the RGB chair review very soon. Um, and we've got loads of gaming benchmarks as well coming next month, which hasn't happened for a while.